We've heard a lot about airbag technology in MotoGP recently, with a lot of riders coming off because of crashes during races, but being able to get back on because of the airbag. So we've come to Alpine Stars, to their factory in Italy, and Jeremy is going to explain how this amazing airbag technology works. So we've got a little, what looks like a mini computer here. Indeed. This is the Tech Air Race system. Uh, it's the central control unit with a microprocessor and battery pack installed inside this uh, box. And on the back, um, two gas canisters uh, and pyrotechnic charges, which actually are what fire the, uh, the system. And, uh, and then the gas in here is what fills the airbags. So this sits in the race suit while they're going along? Yes. This Where is does in, it go? It goes inside the aerodynamic hump, which uh, is probably best shown at the back here. This is the uh, aero hump on the suit and it actually sits inside the, uh, the aero hump of the suit. Um, and then it's connected to the airbags which are actually placed uh, over the shoulders um, just down onto the top of the chest and similarly around the back of the shoulders and just down the top of the arms. And how does the, the machine know that there is a problem and it needs to activate? Well, there are sensors on the suit, um, seven in total, um, two down towards the knees, uh, two in the uh, elbows, and uh, a couple more around the, uh, the body. And then we also have one in the central control unit. Now, when the rider is, uh, is on the bike, um, the system is active, and it's sending data every two milliseconds back to this uh, microprocessor, which essentially is looking for trends in data. Um, it's monitoring exactly what the rider is doing on the bike, what sort of forces they're subjected to, and, and most importantly, the rate of change of movement that's going on. Because if you think of airbag, you think of a car, and you think that you have the impact, and then the airbag explodes. With MotoGP, I'm guessing you're going to have to be a little bit faster because they're going to hit the ground and then it's too late. That's absolutely true. And the true value of this system is its predictive capability. Um, we're looking to get the protection in place before the rider has a major impact. Um, and in nearly every case these days, we're, we're achieving that in good time. So how long does it take for these parts to inflate? Uh, the, the airbags themselves inflate in around 40 to 45 milliseconds. Um, but that's after um, some very rapid uh, mathematic calculation going on in here. Oh, um, going on in there. And usually we're, we're detecting a crash in five, five to ten milliseconds. Uh, so in the case of a low side accident where the rider loses control of the bike at the front end um, and doesn't usually have very far to travel from the lean they're already in until they hit the track, um, we're still achieving protection in place before the impact. And that protection lasts for how long? Um, about five seconds. Um, the airbags remain fully inflated at, at maximum pressure for five seconds. Uh, and we haven't yet seen an accident with any significant impact that lasts longer than that. Um, so plenty of protection for the, the timescales involved. Um, and very effective protection as well. It sits within the suit. Um, it protects the rider during all the course of the initial heavy impacts and then once, uh, once the job is done it begins to deflate um, so that it's ready to go again. If, so uh, the riders can hop straight back on and it will have gone back down and carry on as normal? Yes, exactly. The, the suit uh, will um, deflate or the system will deflate um, usually in about 20 to 30 seconds before movement is possible again. Um, and within a minute the rider can be either back on the bike they were already riding or in the case of the current qualifying system in uh, MotoGP sometimes if they crash in qualifying they need to get back to the garage quickly to jump on their spare bike um, and they don't want to be changing suit unless it's absolutely necessary so the system doesn't have to be uh, um, touched at all, there's no intervention it just uh, detects that the rider gets on the bike and, uh, and then it's ready to go again so a technical system like this obviously doesn't just happen overnight. How long has Alpine Stars been working on it for? Since uh, 2001, um, when the first system was actually put in place uh, in, the, uh, in the laboratory. Um, then we've spent a lot of time building uh, data collection and uh, understanding the electronic side. Um, so yeah, over a decade's worth of, uh, of work 
And having to get feedback from the riders, I guess, once you started putting it out onto the tracks. Yes, I mean, the riders have been fundamental to the testing of the system. Um, we have an engineering team in-house who've been responsible for the development of the system. Um, this is unique technology. There's nothing on the market that uh, you can pull off the shelf to, to make it work. So we've done a lot of development work, but the riders have been the ones out there on track testing, and that's the way we work. I mean, we go you know, racing at MotoGP level to develop our product, and the airbag is no different. Um, but obviously, yes, we, the, over those years, the riders have done a lot of laps, and we've recorded a lot of data, seen a lot of crashes, and all of that's gone into the data bank to help us understand what's going on. And, I mean, you're holding it very easily there. It's not heavy. Can I have a...? a no. How much does it weigh? 450 grams in total, including the airbags. Um, I mean, the riders, you're trying to cut down weight in the suits and the boots and the gloves. Adding something like this, have the riders accepted it easily or is that a bit heavy for them? Um, generally speaking, yes. I mean, we, we spend a lot of time working with all of our riders. So um, there is a period of explanation and getting the fit of the suit right and, and everything else and going through the, you know, the issue of weight. Um, the system is such a benefit in terms of its potential to protect that all of our riders in MotoGP use it um, and are happy with the way the system works. So we, we now don't have any issues over additional weight or anything like that. But um, uh, yeah, at the beginning, it, you, know, you have to work with the riders and you know, educate them about what the potential is and the benefit. Well, it sounds fantastic and it slots right in there. So I think now we've seen it out of the suit, I think we should see it being put into the suit. Absolutely. We'll go over to racing development and see one of the suits in build. And, uh, Perfect. Yeah. OK, so we're now in the final stages of the suit build. Um, and in fact, the airbag system is being inserted. Um, we're starting with the uh, sensor wires that are distributed around the suit. Um, they are put in first. Um, now one of the airbags uh, in the left shoulder is just being inserted as well. And this oh, that's sits... Really, uh, nice and airy as well. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's as breathable as we can make it. Um, obviously the airbag itself is not breathable, but um, the, uh, the material is comfortable and we have as much breathability through the suit as we can. Um, so that's just being located in. That sits within the structure of the suit just around the shoulder and uh, through the back. And obviously um, this is Mark Marquez's? This is Mark Marquez's actual uh, suit, yes. So one of the race suits he's going to use. So watch out for this one flying around a track soon. Yeah. And we're also having the passive protection put in, in this case the elbow, um, because the suit is made up with not only the airbag system but also the passive protectors um, that traditionally are in the race suit. And now we go to the uh, installation of the aero hump. Sounds painful. And this is what actually houses the, the airbag system itself. So the tech air system is inserted into the aero hump uh, structure and that's placed into the suit. And once it's in, you can get it out again. Can yes, you? yeah, yeah. yeah. The, um, the system just clips into the uh, aero hump and then all of the sensors just clip into the processor itself. All right, so what's being... So now we're connecting up the sensors um, and they just are connected to the ports on the processor. And these will be what's uh, transmitting the data from the sensors to the actual central processing unit. So many wires. Good colour coding system. Yeah, we've got to make sure that all of the right sensors get connected to the right ports. But um, absolutely, you don't want the wrong sensor setting off the wrong thing. No, we have plenty of practice at it. So, uh, so turning the system on. No, it won't. Not it it's like Christmas. <laughs> okay. And that stays on the whole time the rider's out on track. Yes. That's on, um, now it's in an, uh, it's not in an arm state, but it's in a sensing state. So basically that means that there's a, um, a safety system built in so that you cannot set the airbag off by a mistake. Right. Um, either by tripping over when you walk into the garage or throwing it out of the truck. Um, 
it won't set it off. The only way now it will um, arm itself is when you get on the motorcycle and you start riding, it will sense that and then it will go into an arm state so that the airbag is actually ready to fire. So this is pretty much ready to go out on the track? Yep, this is ready to go. Just uh, the final connections, the uh, uh, airbag tubes to the system, um, final check, uh, and then the suit will be cleaned up, the inner liner put in, um, we remeasure the suit to make sure it's absolutely perfect, and then it gets weighed out, uh, so we know exactly what weight it is, um, packaged up and sent off to Mark. Mark is ready to go racing. Indeed. Airbag technology in a nutshell. Thank you very much, Jeremy. We have a, one of uh, Mark's suits, Mark Marquez's suits, that's ready for the final parts of the process. Um, actually, the attachment of the, uh, the shoulder protector. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. hard. So that's